All right, it is that time again. It's time for a sweet mystery box. This is gonna be a good one. So without further ado, let's chop this thing open. I was told, I was warned about uh, pecking peanuts and oh boy, here we go. I know I'm going to make everybody angry that I didn't use a giant knife, but since everybody was expecting a giant knife, I decided to use a tiny little screwdriver this time. So, I guess it's opposites day, but we have a sweet lot here. Um, I knew a couple things that I was going to get in it, and the Ranger backpack was one of them that I knew. Ugh. Wow, we got all kinds of stuff. Oh, gonna have packing peanuts everywhere. I don't know if there's anything hiding. I don't feel anything hiding. So let's get rid of this thing. There's nuts everywhere. Nuts everywhere. Holy smokes. Eh, whatever. Clean that up later. All right, let's get comfortable for this one. All right, we've got the Ranger backpack. And attached to the Ranger backpack is a touch, which would be the towel pouch. Eh, let's get that off, check this thing out. Towel pouch, touch. First run disc golf edition, patent pending, the touch. So, I guess check them out. It's actually a pretty cool concept. Ugh, pull some, oh, I already see some sweet discs. The Touch is basically you got towel material inside and good to stick your discs in and keep them dry. Not a bad idea. I guess uh, we'll just take a look right here. And we've got the USDGC Boss, which is great. USDGC Boss. And wow. We got the USDGC Pro Shop in color. Can't remember year 08, 09. That's right, I knew it was close. And already come out of the plastic. Nice, nice big bird rock rancho. Things minty. Everything's brand new here. White green stamp. Let me get that back in the plastic, I think. More packing peanuts. So it's been a little while since I've gotten bought a pretty expensive lot, but I can never turn these down. Steady Ed. Mini, one of the new uh, Pro Shop Swirl Minis. Got a Yetter Mini. What kind of mini is this? I don't know. Pretty cool though. Uh, nuts. Iron Lion. Nice Star Stamp Mini. Look at that. 1980 World Frisbee Champions Championships Mini. I know, enough with the minis. Uh, I want to see the good stuff. Those minis are actually really good stuff. What was the CF card, CFR card for? I'm not sure. What do we got here? Uh, Death by Disc. SS Wizard. That's cool. Death by Disc, I believe, is Dave Lantine. Check out his stuff. He's got great artwork and great discs. Oh, yeah, give him a Google, Dave Lantine. G Star T Bird. These are awesome. I've only thrown the Leopard so far, and it was great. I love the grip in the uh, cold, snowy here of Michigan. 
I gotta put some of those, try some of those others out. This Ranger guy is pretty nice. Nothing in there. Oh, more minis. Ah, very nice. Nice old star mini, or pro star, whatever you want to call it. And another of the new Pro Shop Swirl Minis. Alright, let's dive into the bag. See, there it is. Ranger bag. Very nice bag. Let's start off in the top, see what we got. Alright. And we've got a whole nine, two ring, San Marino break this thing open. Big Beat Aviator? Man, I, my vision must be off, sorry. It's been a tough couple weeks. I think I'm half asleep here. But yeah, pretty cool gray hole nine uh, disc golf holes of the world. Oh man, that's got the old DX. Old DX smell. Smells like a crayon. That's pretty cool. And we've got a DX Glow San Marino Rock. It's got a 2010 Tyler Disc Golf Course Enchanted Forest stamp. Oh wow, huh. man, that is awesome. You know, I'll know what that is. Nice V chains, uh, AVR, look at that holographic stamp, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of purple, reflective, craziness. That's a one awesome disc right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Is that the originator? Is that the very first? Or is this one it? I can't remember what he said. Which one was which? I think this one was the uh, Eagle. The very first beveled edge disc. That is, I don't know, I'm almost speechless, it's weird. That's awesome. I've never owned an Eagle, now I own one, and that one won't be for sale for sure. That one's going right in the collection. That's history right there. I believe this one was the Arrow, which I believe was the second one. That's a large patent pending. I don't know if you can see the. Uh, I can't tell in the video if you can see the large patent pending there. That's uh, some amazing stuff right here. That's the history of disc golf, really. None of this new quote unquote collectible whatever that you think is collectible and really isn't. Um, alright, we've got two ring, San Marino, Big B, AVR, 1998, Flying Disc Classic, uh, Pasadena, very nice disc, oh well, it's a 2001 uh, Japan Open Hero this would be a CE Cheetah. Awesome disc. Yep, 150 grams for the Japan Open. Wow. All, just all sorts of history in here. More peanuts. Man, there's a zipper back here. Nice bag. I do offer uh, their new, the new colors for sale in my eBay store, so check it out. It's just retail price, but hey, helps me out. And a nice disc, a nice bag too. 
Look at this thing. Just packed full. Shirts. What do we got? Delaware Amateur Championship. Cool. Dry fit. And it's XL. That's what I wear. That'll go in the closet, I think. And another XL. Perfect. Bucks County Disc Golf Alliance. I don't know how good you see in that. In the, uh, yeah, the camera's angled so much, but nice t-shirts. Oh, man, look at that. I can only imagine. Let's get a start on it. Ugh. CFR Glow Champion Leopard. Nice pearly uh, Big V Buzz. Really nice. I can't remember if these are Buzz or these are Wasp. Yeah, they're Buzz Tool. Yep. Cool disc rainbow. Be on it. G Star Leopard. Nice purple, uh, I don't know what you call it. Refractive or something. You should be able to see it pretty good in the camera there. Those G Stars, I, I really like the, the G Star Flat, the way it feels anyway, in the cold and the wet snow. One of the new uh, Jolly Launcher Ring Stamp Gator. There's the Ring of Gators on it. Those have been selling like hot cakes. I can't even keep them stocked, really. And a Prodigy Proto D3. Ah, uh, that's cool. That's a Rock 3 with the star stamp. The color in it, I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell, but it's like a blue to purple kind of swirl. I don't know. I don't even know if you can tell in the in the camera. And I cannot talk tonight, sorry. But yeah, there's some purple around the rim. Hard to tell. That's cool. First run, Discraft ESP Surge. Team Star, Star Boss, Valerie Jenkins, signed. Yeah, take that one out of there. Oh yeah, that's better when you take it out. That orange is cool. How it um, goes from light to dark. Very nice disc. Oh man, CE Leopard, awesome, can't go wrong with one of those, you can probably put one in your bag right now and as long as you don't lose it or throw it when it's zero degrees out, I think it'll be in your bag for the rest of your life, awesome disc. Star Leopard of a Air Force. Another really nice disc. Good rarity. Older one, of course. Put that back in the bag. Ah, Christmas. Don't know if I have this one. Innova Christmas Rock. And I've actually started collecting the Innova Christmas stamps. I think I have about 15 of the years or so. That's cool. It's a nice old one. Nice full color stamp to it. And we got a DGA Rogue. Not sure if that is a 
special one by any means. I don't definitely haven't seen that stamp before. I don't think so. Multicolor stamp. Technically, it looks like it's three color. It's got a teal. Uh, well, three or four color. I can't tell. But anyway, a nice stamp. And another Rock Three uh, oil slick stamp. I don't know if you'll yet again be able to see it, be able to tell on the camera. But yeah, those I can't even keep those on the shelf either. Those special stamp ones. Oh, an original Rings and Wings Rock. It's a two-ring San Marino. Very nice. I'm not sure if that's uh, original mold. I'll have to. I can't remember if I still have my old original mold. I think I can't remember if they're a larger diameter back then. I don't know. I'm gonna have to brush up on my history, I guess. That's great. Oh wow, 2004 Japan Open. This is uh, probably a Starfire, I'm guessing. No, nope, Champion Orc. With the uh, certificate of authenticity with it. That's cool. Got a full color. It's interesting how they did these. Um, I don't know how they did them, but I've had, I've seen Starfires with that kind of a print on them, but you can still see through the disc. So it's not like it colors the whole thing. Very nice disc. And the Japan Open Nova. Cool rainbow uh, stamp on that. Another G Star Leopard. And I guess last but not least. Wow. Another CE Leopard. This one a uh, little bit more opaque. Max weight. Man, that's nice. Even has some uh, green swirlies. I don't know if you're going to be able to see those. Right by the L and Leopard. Awesome. Great, great disc. Another great ball flat. Got this on uh, um, Disc Golf Collector Exchange on uh, in Facebook groups. You know, and then of course all that and add in the bag. It's a great lot. It's cool. Oh wow. Okay. I'll have to learn more with the bag and all right I guess that's it and I know you all are gonna give me uh, angry comments for not having my giant knife but I figured I would go completely opposite direction with the uh, world's tiniest opening device which ended up being a little micro screwdriver so yeah whatever and I guess that's it Check out my uh, eBay store in the uh, description of the video. KW's Disc Golf Store. You can even Google KW's Disc Golf Store. Um, and I always, I always like to give a good shout out. Why not? I'll give a good shout out to uh, Trotter Box, Box for Discs. Awesome disc golf storage. Can't go wrong with Trotter Box. Look them up. Boxfordisc.com. All right. I guess that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.